it's time to see the Omnia in action. This time, Pier Paolo is going to help us to demonstrate the machine. As you can see, he's starting feeding, you know, the feeder, positioning the paper against, you know, the edges of the feeder, the stopper to keep, you know, the material in position, all the stoppers as a magnet underneath that helps, you know, to stay in position. Now, because it's the first job, we want to show you how easy it is to mount, you know, the creasing tool and the drag knife. He started with the creasing tool, locking the tool, and then with the drag knife, setting, you know, in position and locking by a simple screw. Then he has to close, you know, the protection for security, load, you know, the file in the cutting list, and start, you know, the cutting cycle. The feeder will bring, you know, the material into the conveyor, and the conveyor will bring the machine in position. The camera will start automatically reading the crop marks, and once, you know, read the crop marks, the machine will start cutting. Only the first time, the machine will ask you to set, you know, the material, so that the machine knows the pressure he has to apply for the creasing and the cutting depth he has to apply for cutting through. As we have seen other times with all the Valiani machine, the file comes with the job already predetermined using simply the colors. So the machine know in advance what is supposed to be a creasing line and what is supposed to be a cutting line. And he follow the pre-order that we determine at Valiani. So creasing first and cutting. So the operation, well, it takes, you know, depending you know, the time, depending on the complexity of the job. But the good things about the Omnia is that it's completely automatic. So the operator doesn't have to do, it doesn't have to attend any operation. As you can see, we move to the second sheet. Machine has loaded the sheet, the camera is searching the crop marks, and he's starting to do the same operation, creasing and cutting all the time. In a way, it's a sort of boring machine because it does everything on its own. But on the other end, it gives you the ability to leave the, you know, the machine working on its own without needing to attend. So there are times, you know, you have complex job that takes you know, longer than usual job. This job could be simply postponed to the end of the day and run all night long because this machine is a 24-7 machine. It can run all day for seven days a week. So there is a something, you know, we think it was worth to have. So a kind of information that the machine could send to anybody through an email. So the machine can inform, you know, the operator that for some reason is missing paper is um, he has finished the job so even if the operator is not attending the machine can always be aware of the status of the machine now Pier Paolo without stopping the machine is folding a box to see if the job has been done correctly theoretically he could start taking some of the job done and start folding now he changed all the size the first job was done on A3 plus size. Now we're working on a 50 by 70 sheet with a much more complex job. It's a kind of packaging for cookie. It's two boxes at the same time. Now the machine is loading the paper. The conveyor is dragging the material in position. The camera is reading crop marks. And the suction has start automatically. As for other machine, the table is divided into zone, and Pierpaolo has opened the zone quickly before the machine start working. So again, the machine is performing, you know, the um, creasing tool, the creasing operation, and later on it will finish with a cutting knife. So this machine can do the same job for, as we said before, for 24 hours, for seven days, a full year. So the main goal for us is to provide an equipment that guarantee an high quality for a very long time. Because this machine is supposed to work in combination with offset printer. So not at the same speed, but matching you know the demand of high volume boxes without having the need to make you know the die, which is Wait, the cost that nobody can absorb. Again, 
could follow is proving you know if the material has been cut and you know the pressure for the creasing is enough one of the thing we haven't seen because we are cutting the same folding cardboard you know the principle is the same the creasing pressure could be adjusted according to the thickness of the material simply by turning you know a knob place on the edge of the cutting head job done quality is good so and the machine keep working it never stops now the third operation is mainly to show you how the QR code works before we used to have a cutting list now thanks to the QR code the camera is determining you know the, the, the file the position of the file and loading the file on the machine the main advantage is, is in that way we don't need to populate any cutting list we can put the material as long as the same kind of material and thickness on the feeder and the machine every time it will read the crop marks and search for the correct file. Pierpaolo is repeating the same operation checking if the quality is good while the machine moves. So if you look on the ground we also have the possibility to mount you know to mount you know safety mat to prevent the operator goes in proximity of the machine and for his own safety. Here we are. The full job is mostly to show you the large capacity and versatility of the machine. It's a forex plate. So the machine has loaded an A3 plus you know, forex uh, sheet, 3 mm thick. It's reading the crop marks as we have done all the time for the folding cardboard. And later on, thanks to the oscillating, you know, okay, in this case, the drag knife is performing the cut of the Christmas tree. As I told you at the beginning, this is mostly to show you how powerful is the feeder and that we do not have any limitation in lifting up even solid material like Forex. All right. If you look on the left hand side, the, we see part of you know, the tower. We also have a tower that inform the status of the operation. So as you can see right now, it's flashing green. So it means you know, the machine is full operating. We do have an uh, option to um, indicate alarm when we, we are getting close to lack of paper, many information so that you know, the operator, even if it's away, it could always track what the machine does. We also foresee option to have a quality break anytime you feel the need to have a double check on the blade or the material for many different you know, needs. So the operator can simply say, okay, stop after 50 pieces. The very last job, and again like Forex, is a card of a honeycomb cardboard. And again, this is mostly to prove how strong is the lifting, you know, system that has no problem to lift a material over than one centimeter thick. Now, for the last job, we are using the oscillating knife, which has allows us to cut up to two centimeter. In that case, we use only half of the chance. And the, the job is a quite simple job. Uh, we decided to, you know, because of the season, to cut, you know, letters saying you know merry christmas because this is the wish we want to extend to all the audience of the day so as for the other things the operation takes a bit longer but at the end it released an incredible result so something you know that could expand you know the capability of this machine which is not only a packaging maker but it could do a lot of other things so, because we didn't want to make it no longer, we, I can guarantee it does corrugated board with the same quality of any folding cardboard. Well done, Pierpaolo, and above all, good job, you know, Omnia.